Philosophy is not a mental speculation. Philosophy is the uh, prime science from all other, or from which all other sciences are derived. There is philosophy. So our Krishna consciousness movement is trying to educate people on this uh, science of sciences, to understand, first of all, to, that what you are, are you this body or different from this body? This is essential. Uh, and if you go on uh, constructing uh, your big building, on a, uh, on a defective uh, foundation, then it will not stay. There will be danger. <coughs> the modern civilization is based on this defective idea that I am this body. I am Indian, I am American, I am uh, Hindu, I am Muslim, I am Christian. These are all bodily concepts of life. Because I have got this body from a Christian father and mother, therefore I am a Christian. But I am not this body. Because I have got this body from a Hindu father and mother, therefore I am a Christian. But I am not this body. So, for spiritual understanding, this is the basic principle to understand that I am not this body. I am so. Aham Brahmatma. This is the Vedic instruction. Try to understand that your spirit soul, you are not this body. The yoga system is practice just to understand this. Ah. Yoga Indriya Sangya. Ah. By controlling the senses, especially the mind, mind is the master or the chief of the senses. Mana Sashtani Indriyani, Prakriti Sthani Kalsati, we are undergoing a struggle for existence with its mind and its senses under the false conception of uh, identifying this body as self. So if we concentrate our mind by controlling the senses, then we can gradually Understand. The yogis, they uh, meditate upon the Supreme Person, Vishnu, <coughs> and by that process they realize the Self. Uh, the Self-realization is the uh, prime object of human life. So, the beginning of self-realization is to understand that I am not this body. I am spiritual, all the mind. So these things are very nicely explained 
in the Bhagavad Gita, if we simply read Bhagavad Gita carefully under proper guidance, then everything will be clear uh, without any difficulty. That I am not this body, I am still this soul, my business is different than this bodily concept of life, uh, I shall never be uh, happy taking, accepting this body as self, that is a wrong foundation of knowledge. Uh, in this way, if we make progress, then we shall understand Aham Brahmasmi, I am a spirit soul, then where from uh, I have come, everything is described uh, in the Bhagavad Gita. That this spirit soul, uh, Krishna says, the Lord says, Mavai Vangsa Jivubhu. These living entities, they are mine, part and parcel, fragment, or uh, minute sparks, this big fire and a small fire, both of them are fire, but big fire and small fire. Uh, so far, the fire quality is concerned, God and we are the same. Uh, so we can understand, we can study God by studying ourselves. That is also another meditation. But it will be perfect when we understand that although qualitatively are a sample of God or the same quality, but still He is the great and the small. That is perfect understanding. Ano vibhu. Brahma para Brahma. Ishara Parameshwara. This is perfect understanding. Because I am qualitatively one, it does not mean that I am the Supreme. In the Vedas, it is said, Nitya Nityanam Chetana Chetana Ram. We are Nitya Eternal. God is also Eternal. We are living being. God is also living being. But He is the chief living being. He is the chief uh, Eternal. We are also Eternal, but we are not chief. Why? Eko Jubhulam Vidadhati Kama. And just like we require a leader. Similarly, he is the supreme leader. He is maintainer. Uh, he is providence. He is providing everyone's necessities. Uh, we can see that, that there are elephants in Africa who is providing them food. There are millions of ants within the whole of your room, who is feeding them? eko jo bhunam vidadhati kama So, in this way, if we realize ourselves, that is self-realize. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.